Hello, Capricorn. Hello. Welcome to your September 2019 reading. This reading is for Sun, Moon, and Rising. So if this doesn't resonate with your sun sign, please do check your moon or your rising. I'm Lisa. This is Heart of Inspiration. Here at this channel, we help you lead a spirit-led, whole and healed, peaceful, and prosperous life. Holy cow, we got all that out of the way, right? All right, let's get down to the reading. I've already pulled the cards, or at least the beginning of them. So let's get going. So these up here are three oracle cards. I am using the energy oracle cards for those, okay? Um, I might put a link down to the bottom, but I don't know. Anyway, that's not important. What's important is um, what these are representing is recent past, so we'll say August. Um, what's coming then, what, that's feeding into September. And then, you know, what could be some outcomes? What do we need to be watching out for, okay? So the first card that we have here is the first chakra, Archangel Michael, okay? So I'm going to just read to you from the book what that says. I like to do that um, so that we're not wondering. So that stability and security makes total sense, right? This is, I have a feeling just from the cards that we have out here, um, September is going to be a month where you're going to find yourself a lot more stable. Um, you're going to be seeking stability as well. But where you've been on rather shaky ground most of the summer, and, you know, I have to apologize being a Cancerian, that's because, you know, we've got the North Node, right, the North Node in Cancer. Um, so you're feeling a little shakier because all these feelings, you know, what are these things called feelings, right? So this is all about really shaping our... Um, stability, but shaping it from the p perspective of let's put our emotion into it, our energy into it, so we can reshape it to and, and recreate a foundation that we can fully stand on. So I apologize already for that. Okay. Um, anyway, first chakra, Archangel Michael. Michael holds a beautiful globe of red energy at the first chakra, which is located at the base of the spine. This is the place where your sense of stability and security is stored. When this card is upright, which I only read it that way, it reveals your energy is flowing freely regarding these issues. Even if you've had problems with feeling secure in the past, these challenges are beginning to be resolved at this time. So again, if you've been a little rocky in the recent past, and we'll say definitely in August, if it's just been a little rocky, now you're beginning to see where it's, evening out as we're coming into September. Archangel Michael is with you, bringing you strength and personal stability. You are capable of taking action and moving forward on your path. So allow yourself to feel increasing faith in your own power and security now and always. All right. Now, what you can expect coming into September, here we have the angel of love. I find that quite interesting as well. Let's see what she's all about. She should be very interesting. What is the angel of love about? Tender connections. So this beautiful angel comes with roses in her hair and rose colored wings. She holds a rose quartz heart, radiating tender and loving vibrations, bringing you compassion and affection. If you're looking for new love, this angel brings a message of its upcoming approach. Let me just bring that a little closer. If you're looking for love, this angel brings a message of its upcoming approach. Or if you're longing for a deeper, more intimate connection with someone already in your life, she's here. Mm. To say that far greater tenderness is available to you. Either way, remember that your first intention for tenderness must be directed inward and the compassion that you demonstrate towards yourself will influence the energetic potential of these events in a significant way. The angel of love is smiling on you and forging connections in the energetic realm. Listen, this is how this is all feeding in together. So the more stable, the more grounded, the more secure you feel within yourself, the more that you are self-sufficient, the more that you love yourself, the more that you trust yourself, the more that you understand that, gosh darn it, I can freaking handle it. The more that that happens, the greater your possibilities, right, of being able to 
mm, accept love as it comes in. Not only accept it, but attract it. Attract the level of love and tenderness and compassion in the relationship, the partnership, from whomever that you want. And then we have storm warning. So this is potentially what we need to look out for. Potential outcome by the end of September. Storm warning. Listen, clouds on the horizon doesn't mean anything bad. Well, it doesn't mean you can't overcome it. Just letting you know there's clouds out there. This card indicates a potential difficulty, either in the external world world or within your emotional life. The difficulty is coming closer, and you may have already heard rumblings of potential problems around you. The caution here is to be conscious, yet not fearful. Consider what's going on and look at the situation with calm clarity. Investigate your options and honor yourself and your intentions. We've been talking about that this whole time, right? This root chakra, honoring yourself. I do believe the storm is passing. You've been in it. I believe it's passing. Stand up for yourself and take action on your own behalf. It is with, as with all difficulty, even the worst storm passes. Also remember you have the power and the wisdom to handle whatever comes your way. Okay. That's that. Let me pull these back so that we can focus on the Star Child tarot deck, the tarot cards. Overall energy for September. I have awakening. You guys are going to be going through an even more of an awakening. I know you're probably tired of it, but gosh darn it, this is where we're at. You're going to, the, for the remainder of the year, all the way through your time, okay, the, the lunar cycles during your season, we are going to have awakening after awakening after awakening, ascension after ascension after ascension, new lesson, new lesson, new lesson. Come up here, come up here, come up here. So just get used to it. This is the way life is going to be. Page of Swords, new way of thinking, new way of talking, new way of acting. Look at that lunar cycle. We're coming up to the new moon here, depending upon when this airs. So August 30th is the new moon. So this will probably air like either right before or right after. Um, pay attention to that new moon, pay attention, pay attention to everything, right? Um, as far as that new moon is concerned, um, because this is going to be like harvest moon, right? First, first kind of harvest moon, a little bit still with the sturgeon moon. It's, it's very important lunar cycle in September, because this is where we get our stores, right? We begin to get our stores, storehouses filled for the winter. And then we have the two of swords. You're coming into a time of decision making as well. Okay. Those are overall energies. I like it. Um, coming towards you, three of crystals. So much like all of this, especially this angel of love coming towards you. I, I've got, the, and you also have the three of cups here. I'm not seeing a third party situation necessarily. Some of you lower vibrational cavities, perhaps. However, um, what I am seeing though, is that you're coming, you're wanting to feel like there's something to celebrate about. You want to feel like you are just like willing the storm to be finally over. You're willing it to happen. And because you're willing it to happen, it's happening, right? That's what you're, that's what you're going to be manifesting as I look through the rest of the month. So the energy coming towards you is that of true partnership. Well, not these. Um, true partnership in the way of the three of crystals, not, not, um, a fake falseness. Like I'm just pretending to be your partner, what have you. Um, and with the knight of swords, it could be an air sign. Gemini, um, Libra or Aquarius, but I also feel like, um, it's going to be someone with great initiative, very communicative people or peoples. Like you are going to hear from more than person or people. You're going to hear from more than one person. And, um, I'm going to take that eight of swords as you're finally coming out of being trapped in your own mind. Like finally you're going to, this person's going to help you like grab you by your hand and like take the blindfold off and grab you by your hand and say, come on, honey, let's go. Come on, let's get out of, let's get out of the trap in your mind of your thoughts and let's go. This angel of love is coming to say the storm's not as bad as you think it is. And it's actually passing over, but you put the blindfold on, you weren't able to see that the damn storm is over there yonder way somewhere. Three of Cups, you want to celebrate, though. This isn't like you want to stay in this 
state of being. You want to have something to celebrate and you want to come out of this. You want to move with this four of wands. You want to move into your life purpose. You want to move into commitment. This could be relationship commitment. This could be just commitment to yourself. This could be commitment to family. This just could be this just life purpose, right? You're ready to move on. And you're ready with the Six of Pentacles to come into this self-balance, right? This, I trust myself, I love myself, I'm cool. Like, and I have more than enough. I have more than enough. More than enough. What could be an obstacle? Nine of Crystals. Why is that an obstacle? Eight of Pentacles. Wow. Wow. A lot of pentacles. So um, those Capricorns are having issues with your money. Money is going to loosen by the end of the month. Ten of crystals. Money is going to loosen up by the end of the month. So just hang in there. It's it's getting there. It's like you're struggling with your own independence. Or like you're struggling with the, can I really be this independent? Can I really be this... Um, Self-sufficient? Can I... Can all my dreams really come true? And you've put in so much work. Um, but the problem is, is with the five of swords, you're having conflicting ideas. You're speaking in a conflicted way over yourself, some of you. But a lot of you, it's just that there's these last little bits and um, pieces of an old um, program that's just rolling around in you, right? Rolling around. And it's not meant to be there. Um, it's you're you're trying to renew it, change it. You're like, yeah, I have this new thought, but oh my goodness, is this really gonna work? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's where we're at with that, okay? Um, and that the conflicting ideas or the conflicting things that your mind is saying about you that your higher consciousness knows isn't true, okay? Those conflicting ideas and thought patterns are what's keeping some of the, keeping a lot of the man, greater manifestation at bay. But what's gonna help you come through that is the universe card, which is in the Star Child Daryl deck, the world card. No, that whole stormy chapter, the, it's interesting, the storm warning is right above, right? The universe, um, that storm warning, it's, it's done, right? Oh. God, we had the two of swords before, but you have to make the decision that you're no longer going to believe that the storm is still with you. You have to make the decision you're going to get over three of swords disappointment in yourself and in others. And you have to make the decision that you're going to have higher font faith, that you're going to have faith in yourself, that you're going to have faith in um, that others are indeed going to be there for you right? You have to have the faith in that. You have to have the faith that your ancestors are here. You have to have the faith that your spirit guides are here. You have to have faith that spirit, beloved creator, God is here with you, for you, ready to help you. Now, outcome or advice. We've got the 10 of crystals. Guys, the money, the financial and other abundance in every area. Ooh, and we have the two of cups. So there could be some new love coming in or renewed vows. Much like the angel of love said, yes, yes, thank you. Or just, you know, or could be soulmate partnerships at work or in some other endeavor, okay? Business, endeavor, entrepreneurial, something like that as well. But, oh, we have the justice balance again. We got the six of pentacles and we have the justice card. Um, we also did get, interestingly enough, the justice card for Virgo. So I think this is an earth sign thing. We'll wait to see what Taurus has. But this is an earth sign thing, right? Bring yourself into balance. You guys are finally at a point where you're going to see the harvest of all of these seeds you've planted. Some of the seeds, though, you need to pluck up. Right? Some of these seeds you absolutely need to pluck up. You absolutely need to say, oh, nope. No. Some of them you really do. And that's okay. That's fine. But pluck them up. Okay? Um, 
they it might have looked good and you might have thought it was gonna it was really gonna grow but it it's not okay so if it's not serving you anymore get rid of it lovey don't keep it get rid of it um don't hold on to old programming that other people put on you it's not yours and allow whoever this partner is that's coming in with this three of pentacles this knight of swords this kind of knight in shining armor if you will or this partner in shining armor and the eight of swords that's going to be able to move you out of this thought process of i'm trapped i can't get past this every time i do something i take one step forward it it turns to crap like this person's going to help bring you on out of that and so you no longer feel that way all right that's what i have for you for september 2019 now listen 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 in september we're going to be doing some more subscriber giveaways we're going to have some amazon gift card giveaways we're going to be giving away some of these oracle decks that i like to use from time to time that i find very helpful so do um but you have to be a subscriber and I'm going to do an even like bigger gift and gift and giveaway for those people that kind of go help us get some more subscribers. So <clears throat> the more you share these videos and let me know, um, yay, right? Then, um, the more entries you'll have into the, into the giveaway. So, um, be on the lookout for that. I'm really super excited about it. We're looking to grow to 5,000 subscribers, but I need you guys to help me do that. Okay. So, Hey, Come on, let, let, let's grow this together and let's all learn and ascend together. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you so much. Namaste. Bye-bye.